Good morning, everybody. It's it's my Monday morning, but it's Tuesday actually. Woke up this morning feeling really anxious, and I'm not sure why because I was just in Florida all weekend. The only thing I can think of is that like we did all these live shows the last two weeks, Atlanta, Orlando, Tampa, and I was very go go go. I feel like my cortisol levels were super high, and I was just living life. And now my body's like, okay, let's recover from that. <sighs> the worst feeling ever. Like I hate waking up with like the tight chest and just feeling so anxious. I had a Pilates class scheduled this morning and I was like, let's go. And I'm so happy I did. There was like no one that showed up. So it was me and a few other girls. So it was almost like a private, which was nice. I have a little bit of a sunburnt chest, a little sun kissed face, hoping it turns into a tan. But I rewarded myself with my favorite cafe con leche from Think Coffee. And I was like, I, I kind of only have a little bit of time to get ready because I'm going to Brooks to record Gals on the Go. I thought it'd be fun to kind of theme this vlog around being an influencer. <laughs> not that it's not always my vlogs, but this week I'm doing a lot of influencer -y things, meetings, um, events, recording the podcast, stuff like that. I don't know. I've been enjoying making themes for the vlogs. Hope you guys are too. Um, but anyways, on my way back, I was like, I only have a little bit of time before I go to Brooks. I need to eat lunch. I just had a piece of toast this morning. And I really don't have that much time. And I was like, I could just go to Dunkin' and get like a breakfast sandwich. But like, I'm trying to eat more nutritiously. And actually someone asked me on my Instagram, what is your motivation to eat healthy? You know, when I do eat healthy. My motivation to eat healthy is, yeah, sure, I want to look good. But it's more so I'm having all these realizations like I want to be alive for a really long time. I want to be there for my kids. I want to be able to run around with my future children, God willing. I want to feel good. I want to feel healthy. I want to be proud of myself. Um, so that's been my recent motivation to eat healthy. It's just like what's going on on the inside and putting good into my body to prevent disease, all the things. We are so lucky our generation to be around so much research and information and I know sometimes it's a lot because there's so much coming at you and sometimes I honestly like don't know what to do um, but I'm trying to take advantage of that and be like happy that I'm living in this generation where there is so much I know about so I'm trying to eat more nutritiously and like one of my decisions just now is like okay instead of going to get a breakfast sandwich let me just take like three okay probably like five more extra minutes stop by the grocery store grab a couple things and I'm really proud of myself well the first thing is bread because you gotta have bread some sourdough bread I needed more I got dinner for tonight I was really proud of myself I got some chicken green beans and then I have couscous or rice I could make and then I got some fresh produce because I had none so I've been traveling so I got some apples a great snack I got five avocados hopefully one of them I picked ah! um, one that I could eat right now and then I got two hard-boiled eggs because I'm gonna have like avocado and egg right now two cucumbers to cut up and eat with hummus because that's my favorite thing ever right now and then I got some bananas so that's my little grocery haul that's my little pep talk let's be motivated to eat healthy together and cook our own meals I'm gonna get ready now to go record the podcast with Brooke we're doing a fun like just a funny little podcast episode this week so, I'm excited. Also, <laughs> I've been eyeing, so I go to New York Pilates, and I've been eyeing so hard this sweat set, and I was like, Danielle, you are not gonna buy any merch from this workout place until you go enough. And I've been probably 15 to 20 times now to classes, and I got like the yearly membership, so I deserve the sweat set. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else ever does that, like when they want merch from like their workouts to do, it's like, no, I have to earn that. So I feel like I earned it today. I got, I just love this. It's like a black set. I honestly might wear it to record today. And I'm seriously loving this new material from Set Active. I will link this set down below. It is perfect. I got it in black and then a very similar one in like a taupe color that I've already worn. Um, but it's like a little different of a sports bra. But they are so good. I love the material. They're very flattering. Shout out. Okay, let's shower. Ta-da! <laughs> My very sad looking breakfast, but I'm excited. It's gonna taste so good. All right, here's my recording fit. We've been wearing more comfy, cozy stuff, and I've been so into it, and like minimal makeup. I'm actually just not wearing any makeup, because especially when you have like a sunburn or like sun-kissed skin, if you will, 
I feel like it looks worse when I like pile makeup on top. I don't know. I feel cute and comfy. I'm wearing my new sweat set. Beanie is boys lie. This is from Naked Fashion. It's like a, yes I think so, yeah, NAKD. I just thought this was a really fun silver puffer and I haven't worn it yet and it went perfectly with the fit. I'm excited to go see Brooke. I haven't seen her since our Florida show, so I'm excited to catch up with her and record the podcast. And then honestly, I'll probably walk back, which is a long walk, but I, I feel like that'd be good if I just put a podcast in, you know, and walk it out. In the studio, Brooke's live from Lake Placid, Adirondacks. We are recording in Brooke's apartment today. It's so cozy. She's playing Odessa. We love that. Alexa stuff. Oh my gosh. I like your um, beanie. Thank you. Boys lie. I really like we it. We need to do a Gals in the Go beanie this color because I was going to wear the neon uh, one and I was like, it's too bright. I'm, it's, a, it's a lot today. I'm up. But yeah. I love the bright beanie. I really like that. Thanks. I like the and then I bought this today, the New York oh. Pilates. I was like, I finally earned the merch. You know, you can't yes. like buy the merch after like the first day. You gotta wait. So I was like, I've been there like 15 times. Like, oh, you've earned it. Yeah, yeah. that's your quality. You're a regular. Oh yeah. So we're gonna record a really fun episode, guys. You need to go watch this episode because Brooke oh, wow. um, bought me a jelly cat, and live. she like picked one for like my likings, I guess. I don't even know. I'm gonna open it live on the podcast. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the jelly cat, you need to go listen to last week's episode because I clearly was on a very different side of TikTok. I still, after talking about jelly cat. It has not popped up on my for you page. Wow. Okay, maybe but. now. Maybe. And you bought a peanut jelly cat? Yes, I have that in the other room. I'll show you. There She's is, allergic to peanuts. I am. I am. That store, apparently, like, everyone is replying, like, where are you getting these in New York? Like, they're hard to find in stores. It's like when you used to, like, Webkins. hit the jet jackpot and find Webkins at, like, Cracker Barrel and stuff, and you'd be like, oh my gosh, do they have Cracker Barrel here? Have yeah, you ever been? Yeah. Okay. Yes, of course. So good. Yeah. They're more common in the South, but like upstate, I passed a few signs. Ooh, like, right, Cracker right. Barrel. They have in Jersey, I think. Like they're always like off of like highways. Oh, like, okay. Right? Yeah. No, they always are. Yeah. Because it's like a rest stop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love Cracker Barrel. Boosts of serotonin. Yes. Um, I'm going to show you guys Brooke's view and then I'm going to oh, stop just day. because it's a gloomy day, but you can still see the cité. Totally. Can't wait for more balcony hangs this summer, oh, yes. hopefully. Love. Finished recording the podcast. It was a really good episode, if I do say so myself. It was so much fun. You guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna walk back. It's gonna be like a 40 minute walk. Th no, 30 minute walk. But it just sounds like a nice idea. It's really not that cold out. Kind of helps me when I'm feeling anxious to just walk it off. Maybe I'll grab some lunch on the way. We'll see. Hi guys, it's a lot, lot later. I like need to shut my computer for a quick second. Um, I like wasn't wearing my blue light glasses for the first two hours on the computer, and that will get you. Maybe first hour. I've just been responding to emails. It was a long weekend, so I kind of let them pile up, and I just got a lot done just now. Did some planning with Brooke. I'm about to do a post on the Gals in the Go Instagram for. Um, Emma made us a cute little collage of photos from the Tampa and Orlando shows. So I'm gonna post, I don't know if you can see, but she like put some photos together, made it cute. Um, so we were coming up with a caption. I'm gonna post that now. I like started to clean my apartment and then I was like, I'm doing this out of order. Let me get all my work, school work, work done. And then I'm gonna clean my apartment or make dinner and then clean. I'm like a nighttime cleaner. It's really weird if it's sunny out. Like, if it's daytime, it feels so weird cleaning my apartment. Unless it's, I mean, I do it, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting tired, if you can't tell. But I have a call with, we call it Team GOTG, in about 15 minutes. It's myself, my manager, Brooke, and her manager. We do not have the same manager, um, but they obviously know each other quite well. They literally got lunch a couple weeks ago, because so they both live in LA and, like, talked about us. Um, so today is a call to go over the live shows, what went well, what didn't, and the next cities that we want to go to so we can start planning a lot further ahead. And yeah, um, so about to get onto that call. It's always like a gamble. I don't know if you guys ever feel this way, but like with Zooms, it's like, are we doing video or are we not? I always text Brooke like, what are you going to do? <laughs> and there's times I hold my ground. I'm like, I look like shit so i'm not gonna put my video on and you just have to awkwardly watch your profile picture you know when you talk like light up but i mean 
It's not the end of the world if they see me. It's just I'm not looking my cutest. I like forgot that we had I, like I'm assuming it's a video call. I don't really know. I also want to shout out if you guys have seen this jelly cat phenomenon on TikTok. I thought it was so funny and I didn't really understand it because I'm not on that side of TikTok and Brooke got me a little jelly cat and she gave it to me on live on the podcast today and she got me a coffee one. These are called like jelly cat amusables and they have a ton of different things like she has a brie cheese one. They have pickles. They have all these things and so she was like coffee made sense for you because like it's like your little to-go cup. Um, so I'm not going to keep it here because this is just going to get messy. I'm actually about to make myself a cup of coffee. So we're going to move this now. She said I should put it in the living room somewhere. My apartment is such a vibe right now. What the heck? But like, I don't know. I don't know if I want it there. Hmm. I don't know where to put my jelly cat. Oh, all of my shelves, all the thousand shelves over here. This would make sense. Little jelly cat guy. <laughs> Cute. I have so much cleaning to do. I need to hang up clothes, put things away. I actually did unpack last night as soon as I got home, which was a fabulous feeling. So I need to put my suitcase up there, which is a whole journey in itself. Um, but it's looking pretty good. My kitchen is just not doing well. There's just shit everywhere. Cause I had a Super Bowl party. So like all the paper plates and cheese boards and stuff are over there. Like it's just ridiculous. Anyways, I need a little bit more energy. So I'm gonna have a decaf cup of coffee. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but it still gives me a little bit of energy and it'll make this call really enjoyable. Just sipping a little coffee. I seriously am so obsessed with my new Keurig. This is the Keurig K Smart Cafe or K Cafe Smart. It's actually freaking smart. Like I can't stop talking about it. I have my decaf Starbucks here. I don't have my other decaf. I have to order more. But literally it says insert pod. Ready? I insert it. Brew ID. It's going to tell me which pod it is. Not that that really matters, but I think it's really cool. Starbucks decaf pike place roast. I think it's so cool. And then there's all these options too, like all the different size options. You can have like favorites, so you can have like a certain temperature you want, um, strength. They also have a shot option, which I think is cool, like a little shot. And there's an iced coffee option, so you could put ice in the in the cup. And then I think it just brews it at like a lighter temperature, not super hot, so it doesn't melt the ice. I don't think it's super cold, but like it pairs better with ice. Anyways, I am so obsessed, if you cannot tell. Um, and my favorite part is that there's a milk frother. And I love cafe con leche. I don't have any milk right now, but I think I could froth up some, some half and half. I think that's still a vibe. Hallelujah. The cream is frothing away. What a delight. All right, moment of truth. Our cafe con leche con, cream, con crema. Oh, look at that froth, baby. Except I can't like use too much because it's literally cream. Am I okay? So I'm gonna take the the froth and put it on the top. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. My little evening treat, if you will. I'm gonna get milk, don't you guys worry. All right, it's so dark in my apartment now, but get all set up. I've got my doing well daily planner here. If I need to write any to do's. Oh my gosh. Hitting different right now. All right, we're hopping on now. How are you? Hello, hello. Okay, hey guys, we're in the kitchen now. The meeting went like an hour and a half, which is crazy. And then Brooke and I had lots to chat about after. We're thinking about, we are going to hire more help for Gals on the Go. So we were kind of going over all of that because you know like after a call sometimes you're just like feeling motivated and it's like why like schedule a time for Brooke and I to talk about what we want to do and just like be in the moment and just like get after it and that, I don't know if I'm making sense but we we're like we're already thinking about it so let's just do this it's really late it's literally 8 30 we literally just hung up on FaceTime but we were in the moment we had all these those ideas in that moment so yeah we're basically wanting to hire like a production assistant for gals on the go um like nothing in the creative side at all, but more so like literally just helping us do stuff. Um, especially with the live shows, we just found we needed even more help. Um, so yeah, and then I was like, I am so hungry, I need to make dinner. So I started doing that right here. 
That's the other thing. Both Brooke and I's whole team, except for one, all live in LA. So like for them, it's still in like the working hour. I obviously don't care um, and neither does Brooke, but it definitely like, you know, like it's late here. Um, so everything kind of starts a little late, which I don't mind about, obviously. Um, but yeah, so it's lots of Zooms. Like I met my whole team, but I don't get to see them all the time because they live in California. So it's pretty crazy there. Um, but yeah, now I'm making myself some dinner. We're doing, I bought some chicken today as you guys saw. I'm making couscous. Oh, I love couscous so much. I get the garlic and olive oil one. I don't have any fresh garlic and I wanted to cut up garlic to put with my green beans. So I'm making green beans here. So I'm just going to do olive oil, salt, and pepper, which definitely does the trick. But cooking garlic and then adding the green beans definitely hits different. I can't lie. Oh. Couscous is boiling, just what we wanted. I'm like, tap, there's like so many things happening at once. But yeah, we are cooking. Gonna play some music. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I think this looks pretty darn tasty. About to dig in, I'm gonna watch some TV and eat. All right, food has been consumed. I'm slowly, I just did some dishes. Put some stuff in the dishwasher now. I just need to continue to clean. I have trash I need to take down to the cellar. Yeah, we're just gonna get to cleaning. Morning guys, it's Gals on the Go Wednesday, so I am posting a TikTok. I this is Brooke giving me jelly the jelly cats. cat. So you picked yeah. one out for me that yes. I think makes sense for me. Yes, I'm podcast. so excited to see which one you picked out. I hope it's like the right one. Oh, there you go. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, so you guys should go follow Gals on the Go podcast on TikTok. If you don't listen to the podcast for whatever reason, this gives you a fun little What's your first snippet I of, I'm really proud of it. It's really, really fun. Our editor does a great job. And then she also just sent us the video. So I'm about to upload that to YouTube. We upload the podcast video on YouTube every Wednesday at 2 p.m. And it looks so good. I'm just running through it. Make sure the ad's in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, I'm doing that. I'm also uploading my own video today, but I'm waiting on a brand to approve it before I can go live. So yeah, and then in about 20 minutes, we're gonna leave for the gym. Okay, we are getting ready to go to the gym. Gonna be gone for some hours because I'm gonna go, I have my workout with my trainer, Jane. That's what I have every Wednesday with her. And then I have like an hour and a half maybe. Um, so I might run, because that's in Soho, I might run to Sephora because I need more glow screen. The golden hour one because they didn't have any in New York, in Florida. Oh, and there's this new foundation I want to try. It's like a cream foundation that you like use a brush to put on. And then I need more leave-in hair conditioner and some other things. Um, and more hand soap if I have time. And then I have my nail appointment with Mickey. I actually love this nail color. I'm sad to see it go. Like, I actually really like it. I just can't stop doing chrome. I think I'm gonna do orange chrome, because why not? Wait, why all of a sudden would it, do I think it'd be cool if I did like a cream chrome? Like, not white, but like cream. I don't know. I don't know where the orange is coming from. I'm not going to like Mexico tomorrow. I don't really know, but um, Anyways, yeah, so since I'm running errands after my workout, I'm trying to have like a more chic look. So here is my attempt at a chic look. I have my workout set underneath. Hoodie is Aritzia, jacket is Mango, and then I have my Adidas um, shoes on, some set active socks, my Bottega bag that better stay on my shoulder. Let's head out for the day. Not gonna be back till like four, so good morning.
Okay, so I came home because Mickey pushed back my nail appointment to two. So I had a little bit more time and I was like, I need lunch. I could eat out, but I have this lovely nutritious meal right here waiting for me. So I just heated up my dinner from last night, getting my video up. I think the brand just approved it. So that's great. Well, that worked out perfectly. I had time to shower, eat my lunch. I just put on my friend Serena Kerrigan came out with this really fun sweat set with Mayfair. I love it. It's like you're the writer, the director, the star of your own reality, I think, of your own show, your own life, your own life. Um, so I'm just wearing this and then my my Fugs, my fake Uggs from Amazon. I like don't want to wear a jacket because I'm just going to the nail salon, but I know I'm going to be happy I wear one because I also, if I have time, because we have a call later today for another Gals on the Go call with a brand. I want to try and make cowboy caviar like salad basically cowboy caviar but put it over lettuce and like add some other little things so I'm bringing this little you can fold it up but I'm lazy I didn't fold it up grocery bag in case I am able to go to Whole Foods after my nails if not I might have to run back here for the meeting and then go back out and get groceries but we shall see my hair is just not herring I can't be bothered. I like don't. I have my hair appointment in a couple weeks and I'm like, oh, my driver's here. Okay, let's go get my nails done. Back now. I'm like so random. I'm kind of like, why did I get orange nails? I got orange chrome, but it makes me happy. So <laughs> anyways, I wanted to do a haul from what I got earlier because I didn't have a chance to before I went to my appointment. As expected, I got more Super Goop Glow Screen in the Golden Hour color. It's a little bit tinted. I think I left it in Miami, and I love this stuff so much. I'm just realizing this looks like a mini size. Whatever. I use this stuff every day, or every time I wash my hair, I spray this way leave-in conditioner in my hair, and I absolutely love it. Um, whenever my friend Kelly at Makeup XK does my makeup, she uses this Gucci bronzer. And I was always like, wow, like kind of bougie Kelly. And she was like, I really like it. Um, so no, it has a dust bag. <sighs> That's really funny. I mean, the packaging's beautiful. I love whenever she does my makeup. So we're gonna give that a try. Something else that she um, influenced me to buy. This is the Patrick Ta Major Skin Cream Foundation Finishing Powder Duo. So hold on. So it's a cream foundation. Um, which I just think it's kind of like so easy to put on. I've never, I've used cream foundation before, but not like this. Makeup Forever also just came out with one like this. Um, so it has powder as well, but this is the cream. I got it in light two, I think. And it looks dark, so hopefully on, it, I mean, it, I don't know. And then the Patrick Ta foundation brush, the cream foundation brush was sold out, so I got the cosmetics one. But the goal is to just be able to buff it into my skin and make it super easy and then I guess set it with this powder. I didn't really realize it came with the powder, but I've heard lots of good things about it. I believe it's new. And then Brooke actually, so I love these Summer Friday lip balms. I like the tinted ones a lot. And I have the like cre vanilla cream beige one, the pink-ish one. But this one's orange. I'm in my orange era. And I just, and Bro it looks really good when Brooke puts it on. So I was like, let me just try it. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Nothing crazy, I like it. Okay, we approve of that. And then <laughs> I went to Zara. And I was, I was planning on, like if I had time, I was also gonna go to Zara and just buy some new fun little pieces, you know? Like I've got lots of basics and it's winter right now, so we're bundling up, but you know, I haven't, I want like some fun tops to wear to dinners and like I have an event tomorrow night, stuff like that. So I found some really cool pieces, but I think I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys right now because I didn't try them on yet. So we're gonna find out together if they look okay. Okay, so the first thing I got is this bodysuit and I had really high hopes. I'm just covering because it's kind of showing my nipples, but um, I had really high hopes for it. I just tucked it into some jeans and I like can't decide how I feel. I think it's cute. Like, with, like, if I wore a belt, obviously I'd wear a sticky bra, but I can't decide. But I think it looks cute with jeans. Like, this is a good, like, going to dinner outfit. I can't decide. 
Okay, update, I think I like it. I just needed to like let it marinate for a second, but I think I like it. Okay, this jacket I am so excited about. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, you can definitely tell. There's like two big pockets on either side. I love the boxy shape. Honestly, this isn't like the worst outfit, like a little denim tuxedo moment. I don't think that's how I would wear it, but sometimes you just need like that in-between jacket. And I'm actually going to Nashville in a couple weeks. So I feel like this is perfect for the weather there. Um, I don't know. It was kind of an impulse, but I'm not mad about it. I also honestly kind of like how it looks buttoned up, like just as is. So this is super, super cool. Okay, this look is giving me everything I needed it to, and I'm really happy about it because I might wear this to the event I'm going to tomorrow night. It's a dinner for Spritz Society. They're very colorful, though. Like, their brand's very colorful, so maybe not, but I feel like... I, I mean, there wasn't, like, a theme or anything. Anyways, if I'm being honest, <laughs> pay attention to how Zara and other stores, like merchandise things this was right next to these pants and I was like they don't match perfectly but I had a feeling this bodysuit tucked into these pants would be a vibe and I'm just feeling like it is if I add like a cool blazer over top I love this is very warm it's like a gray ribbed bodysuit grayish khaki-ish pants like let's go okay this is another great outfit for an event for dinner oh, I didn't zip it up all the way I love this. It's this beautiful gray color. I think they also had it in like a neon yellow green. It has a little bit of detailing right here, a fun little cap sleeve, and then a midi skirt. And then look at the back, guys. The little open back, like, hello, open back. I love it so much. This is so cute. Again, with just some like pointed booties, I think will be fire flames. This is a win. We have one more thing. Okay, I'm so glad I got these pants. Okay, guys, the thing about these pants, they look like really cool cargo trousers, but they're sweatpants. Business up front, comfy in the back. I really like these. I honestly kind of grabbed them on my way to the checkout, and I was like, I just know I'm going to love these. Kind of looks good with this top. Like, I don't know, I'm just looking for more basics, that like funky basics that I can wear with different things, and I feel like if I'm trying to look put together, but I also want to be comfortable... This is perfect. I actually, again, I really like it with this top and like some sneaks. I'm like, can spring just be here already? Okay, I am about to hop on a call we have for Girls on the Go with a brand. I'm making some hot tea. Everyone always asks what this is. This is a smeg kettle, it's just hot water. And I'm making some lavender, chamomile and lavender hot tea right now. This is my Zoom look. I have this top from the O Kind. I'm not wearing makeup and I just like slick back my hair with a claw clip because yeah, I know Brooke is literally coming for my hair appointment so she's gonna look fire. Um, this is, I have sweatpants on. But from here up, I feel like it looks professional, you know? Not that, you know, we're creatives. But I've, I've always talked about this. Then I add the blue light glasses and I feel like it just pulls the whole look together. It's kind of giving like a J. Crew vibe right now, huh? Grab a mug for my tea. This one should work. Got all my beverages here. <laughs> Let's begin. Call went well, went to the grocery store. I got, I have them all separated in categories. Where do I start? This is just stuffed, you guys know I love my cauliflower thin sandwiches, so I got more turkey, uh, sprouts, tomato, and I got more hummus, because I go through this hummus so much. The roasted red pepper hummus from Cedars is so good. And then for dinner tonight, I'm going to make cowboy caviar. But I was like, how can I make this a meal? Because typically you just dip it in chips, which I love. But I was like, how can I infuse this in my everyday life? Um, how am I going to do that? By putting it over lettuce and ground turkey on top. That was my mom's idea. And then I couldn't help myself, but I did get some chips, um, you know, to have. It's kind of like a little chipotle bowl. Guys, this, <laughs> I know some people don't like cilantro or it, like tastes like soap to them. I am not one of those people. Oh my gosh, I could literally just smell that all day. That's an instant mood boost for me, I don't know why. Got romaine lettuce. I have the cowboy caviar recipe that my family uses on an Instagram story highlight on my Instagram. So it's called cowboy caviar, so go check it out. But basically, it's onion, garlic, tomato, bell pepper, corn, black eyed peas, uh, black beans, all mixed together with some lime juice, and then you're supposed to use the Good Seasons Italian dressing mix and like mix it with vinegar, and they just, I don't know a store here that has it. I'm gonna see about ordering it on Amazon for future, but I just got Italian dressing. 
I hope it tastes similar because I love the taste. That was a lot of work. My arm hurts from opening cans, chopping. I got my pants dirty to switch pants. It smells so good. See, I literally just made all that ground turkey and I have lettuce and now all I want to do is just like eat this. We do need to try it. We need to try it before we put it over lettuce and everything. All right, I really hope this is good because I didn't use the Italian dressing mix I normally would. Oh my god, that is so good. Something's a little bit sweeter than I normally would like. Not sure what that could be. Well, it may be the Italian dressing that I used. I kind of want to add more red wine vinegar. Look at me just tasting, adding things to taste. I really hope I don't regret this, but I have this Italian red wine vinegar from when I make the sub sauce. I'm just gonna add a little, it needs like more of a tang. Hopefully I didn't just mess all of that up. All right. Now let's see. Wow, that helped. I just needed more of a vinegary taste. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, so what I did, I have romaine. I put the ground tur I put the ground turkey on top of the romaine and then I put the cowboy caviar over top so it like soaked up the juices because all I did was add salt and pepper to the ground turkey so let's hope it's good because I feel like now that I'm just doing all this all I want to do is just eat that which is this is all that's what I love about cowboy caviar it's truly all goodness you know tomato onion garlic black beans um black eyed peas corn cilantro like all good stuff pepper but I was like it just doesn't feel like a meal so I did this so we're gonna give it a shot update I'm actually very happy with this. It's really good. I'm curious to see if this is filling. It should be because I have turkey in it too. But I'm happy. It tastes really good. So, A, you know, A plus, guys. We did it. Just had a lovely chat with my dad on the phone for about 40 minutes. Drinking some chamomile tea. I'm going to watch some Saturday Night Live. I'm in the mood for a giggle. And then I'm going to go to bed. Um, but I'm just going to heat up a little bit of the rest of this water. Oh, I'm probably going to take one of these again tonight. I'm obsessed. I don't take them every night, but I'm going to take it tonight. See you guys in the morning. Thursday. Thursday is my favorite day of the week, if you didn't know. I woke up, went to Pilates, met a lovely subscriber. Her name was Tessie. She was so cute. Um, so if you ever see me at Pilates, definitely say hi and don't judge me because I'm not that good. I'm working on it. Um, but I'm really proud of myself for challenging. It's definitely a challenge, like every class I go to. The instructor I went to today, I love it. Like whenever something's hard, she'll be like, that might feel a little spicy. And I think that's so cute. Um, and then I went to the dry bar. I got my hair done for the weekend because I have a fun event tonight. Today we're doing some fun influencer -y things, if you will. Um, yeah, look at the, the Anastasia brows. Freeze is no joke. 
Today we are going to first stop at Pat Bow. I love their clothing. It's definitely on the pricier side. And they reached out to me to come into the store and like try on some of their new stuff. And then I get to leave with some of their things, which is really kind and really exciting. Uh, I think they have really cute clothes and I'm going on some trips in the next few months. So I'm never complaining and I'm very grateful. And I'm always trying to do more fashion things. And then from there, I'm gonna try this Patrick Ta cream foundation stuff I got yesterday. Oh wow. That applies oh so lovely. I feel like I shouldn't put it on my nose because my nose is kind of peeling from the sunburn. And I feel like that wouldn't really look good together. Anyways, we're going to Pat Bow and then depending on how much time I have, I may come back after that. Not really sure. If not, we're going to the Allison Broad um, office with my manager or my like someone that works in my management team lives here in New York finally because most of my team like I was saying lives in LA except for one her name's Karen she's amazing and she lives here in New York so we get to do things together so we're stopping by the office I've done dinner with them before they represent some really cool brands and they've been trying to get us to come into the office for a while and so we finally found a time to go check out the products they have and all that is it weird that I'm just not putting makeup on my nose <laughs> I just know it'll peel but yeah, so then after that, I'll come back and I'll have a couple hours and then we'll go to this dinner at Little Ruby's for Sprit Society, which I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite drinks. It's a wine-based seltzer and it's delicious. And yeah, they invited me, which I'm excited. It's like a seated dinner too. I haven't like been doing a lot of influencer events lately. I just like haven't been in my going to events era. Well, I've been traveling really like I pretty much just didn't do fashion week because I was like I'm gonna be in and out and I'd rather be all in or all out so I did all out um but I miss like socializing I miss seeing some of my friends so we're gonna go to this tonight I'm really excited um yeah so I'm just gonna keep doing my makeup I actually don't have much time but I was like you know what I still want to get a workout in today if I can, so we're gonna do it. Anyways, I'm gonna keep doing makeup and I will show you guys my outfit when I figure it out. Uh, I love a fresh blowout and doing my makeup. I like haven't done this all week, so it feels good. Okay, I wish I could ask you guys your opinion on what to do. I love this outfit and I'm trying to decide if I should tuck the pants into the boots or not. I feel like since it's like a casual day vibe, maybe not. And I know some people don't like the scrunched look tucked into the boots. I, however, do. Um, I will have this top link down below. It's Revolve. I love it. It's kind of like this faux crocodile cream moment. I love a crop blazer with the wrap. I think they're so flattering. Pants. Oh, my gosh. It's really hard for me to find um, well-fitting, like, faux leather pants. These are from Meow. They're a little bit pricier. But they literally fit my waist perfectly. They're a 20 – or, no, they're a medium. I usually wear, like, a 28 – and the medium fit perfectly. There's no gap in the back, which is just so exciting. And then the boots are Vince Camuto. But I think I'm going to untuck these so it'll all look like this. I like it. Feels fun to dress up. All right. And we are off to Pat Bow. And the rest of the day, I'm going to pop a trench coat over this because it is quite chilly outside, but I'm really happy with the fit. I'm excited to go try on some things and do a fun little businessy, fashion-y day. <laughs> thing about me is even if I have something later I will 
take all of my makeup off and redo it because I can't fully relax unless my makeup's off. I don't know how to explain it. Like I have like two and a half hours till my, to the dinner tonight, but I was like, nah. I wanna be comfortable, I wanna actually relax, put on a barefoot dreams robe. Such a great day, full of fun meetings and stuff. I don't always do stuff like this, and today was really fun. All the girls that work at Allison Broad are so nice. A lot of them watch my videos, which is really fun. I left with so many goodies, I'm so excited. And they now represent Sage Wellness. So I got some Sage Wellness goodies, which I love. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like, I got another Real Techniques sponge. I love using these. I got a ton of Kerastase products. Got some things from um, Dollar Shave Club for Ryan. Upgrade his shaving needs. What else did I get? Oh my gosh, Juicy Tubes are coming back, you guys. Like, I'm making them a thing. From Lancome, I'm trying out Rose Ink. I've never really tried their products before. Oh, I'm excited to try this. This is a pre-shampoo, like, charcoal thing to put on your scalp, and I have, like, a flaky scalp sometimes. Um, I, one of my New Year's goals, I don't know if you guys remember, was to start using retinol. So she recommended I try the Kiehl's this is a daily microdose serum, so it's a good way to introduce it to my skin. Got some purple, like some blonde products. Very excited. I now, I just lit my candles. I'm, I made some chamomile lavender tea, and I'm gonna get back to work. I cleaned out my email graveyard today. I had some emails that I hadn't responded to. Like I always respond to the most urgent ones, but then, Sometimes if they're not like time sensitive, I'll like let them go and then I'll like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And I was like, it's time to do it. Also, my hands just randomly felt really dry. Not fun. Um, and it always feels really good to kind of get through those. Also, I was told my cuticles are really dry. So I'm using this, I love L'Occitane. L'Occitane cuticle cream. Moisturize my cuticles here. Um, so I'm gonna go through my emails because I responded to a ton earlier today and I had literally zero emails in my inbox, which is always a lovely feeling. And now people are responding obviously to those. So I need to respond to those. I'm gonna just play some relaxing music. Putting on some hand lotion here. And just do that for like an hour and then I, the rest of that hour I wanna, or the second hour I'm gonna chill on the couch and watch some Nashville. I'm obsessed with that show right now. It's on Hulu. It's old, but I'm obsessed. Um, and then we're gonna get ready for the event. Woo! Okay, outfit of the night I have on this set that you guys saw yesterday from Zara. Over top, I got another leather jacket from Lamarck because I'm obsessed. This one is a different style. It's not as cropped, which I really, really like it. And then I'm wearing the tall boots from Vince Camuto I was wearing earlier. Hopefully this is cute enough. I don't know. Now I'm overthinking it. No, this is cute, we like it. So yeah, I'm about to head over to Little Ruby's in Soho. I'm drinking kombucha. Um, for, I don't, I mean, I don't think they're launching a new flavor tonight, but I don't really know. Um, it's just like a dinner, so. And I know my friend Eli, the jar is going. She texts me, so it's always very exciting when you're going to one of these things and you're like, okay, I know one person. Um, but I always love meeting new people and it's a seated dinner So I don't know if they're gonna like seat us in certain places, whatever, but regardless, I'm really excited Influencer day for sure and I'll uh, vlog when I'm there hopefully <laughs> That's a wrap. I will see you guys in my next video.